I've been post-production supervisor and visual effects supervisor for 13 years. Um, worked on close to 50 feature films and since two years I run a visual effects and post-production company in Brussels called Fillmore. I think the most common mistake is that they, they start too late thinking about post-production. So for me the biggest tip is start your post-production in pre-production as soon as possible. It's, it's very tempting for directors or DPs or line producers to move a potential problematic situation to post and say we'll fix it in post but most of the times uh, you get a better result and a cheaper result if you really try your best to find a solution on set and maybe it's just a partly solution where you shoot elements for real on set and you make a combination in post instead of doing everything in post but try to shoot as many elements real-life elements as possible and minimize the amount of, of effects afterwards. Um, film itself, the 35mm capturing of, of film, shooting on film and projecting on film is dead. For that, I can be quite clear, film is dead. It's all digital nowadays and, um, and it will not return. Unfortunately, I love film, but um, let's face it, it's, uh, it's over and we have to focus on the new digital pipelines and digital distribution and rethink our post-production workflows and, and shooting workflows um, to be focused on a digital capture and post-production. I'm quite optimistic about the industry, the future of the industry. I think um, we had some difficult times with the, the rapid change from film to digital where a lot of companies are not expecting it to go this fast. Uh, but I think at this moment everybody sort of realizes what the situation is and are uh, reinventing themselves for this uh, digital revolution. I think that shooting stereoscopic, it's, the hype is over, uh, but it will stay forever, but not as a blockbuster type of uh, uh, way of capturing and screening films. I think uh, using the glasses is still a problem and we have to wait until somebody really smart invents a way of, of watching uh, stereoscopic images without glasses and then it will take off again and it will be more mainstream.